All right, right in the goodwill, right off the rip here, we got some Callaway Big Bertha X12s. Ah, they're all shot. Got a tailor-made rack, six. Okay, we got some. Here's a three. That one's just really, really bad. Yeah. yeah Tore actually two. It's pretty rough too. Two more in though. All right, two dollars for this thing right here. Look at Halloween items sell pretty decent on eBay, especially weird ones like this. I go over here and show Kayla it's only for two dollars, and she agreed it would probably sell on eBay. Go for good money. I don't know. That's sad. That's always terrible. Thank you for hang, hanging around with that one thing. Look at the old TD Bank fleece. You know they made usually uniform items go for pretty decent, so that's probably gonna be a keeper. Just do you know how many loans it just denied? You're not getting a loan today. <laughs> King Louis Profit. What is that? Like a little West Virginia King? Extra, extra large. Ah, shame it didn't have a back piece. That's not bad, probably. It's got no stains on it. Huh? 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 Dunkin' Donuts. Thrift Day? Dunkin' always makes it a little bit better. Does it work? There it is. Fill it like with three. Well, some sort of power here. Is it open? Power standby. No, I think this is no good. Well, that's sad because some of these can go for a lot of money. Alright, let's see what the hat bin has to offer them. That thing is destroyed. Come on, Goodwill. What is this? Huh? United States Marine Corps. There's another one. Ed Hardy with the tiger. Look at that thing. There, some Ed Hardy stuff still goes for good money and for like a dollar, kind of hard to, how many more is in here? Just a hat, just a plain old hat. Look at that bad boy. It is destroyed. These long bill hats are actually pretty cool when you're fishing. Keeps the sun off of you even better. This one's really, really bad. So this part of Goodwill, Kayla came over to me real quick and she said, hey, did you see the bow system up in the front? And I was like, no, I haven't seen that. Just go take a look at it. And uh, it is a Bose Media 321, but it is the Series 2. And that one goes a little bit more than the Series 1. They wanted $69.99 for all four pieces. Now, it, it was missing the remote and the cables. It only had one cable that was going to the speakers. The cables on some of these are very, very expensive. So when you're out there and you're looking and the Bose system doesn't come with a remote and doesn't come with any cables, you might want to go ahead and think twice depending on the asking price. These comps were all over the place. Some of them were as high as $100 and as low as $20 or $19.99 for that same system. A lot of people were selling them for parts because they couldn't power them on because they didn't have the power cable or cables to figure it, you know, actually test the item. So Bose cables are very expensive. We looked around and we did pass on this. These are the things that kind of keep me up at night because it's like, could I have made an easy hundred dollars? And then the whole system alone, somebody sold the whole system for 170 free shipping. Very, very heavy system here. So we passed it up for 70 bucks, but uh, when you're out there, just definitely take a look to make sure your Bose systems come with the actual Bose cables and the remotes. If it came with all that, I would 100% bought that for 70 bucks. And since it didn't come with any of it, I left it behind. Come on, shape ups. You gotta shape up, what is this? Always, always the shape ups talk. And they're trying to sell them here for uh, seven bucks. So if you want some shape ups, you can come here, buy them for seven bucks and I'll talk to you. I like this camera. Look at this camera. Oh, yeah. Minion. Despicable me. Oh, is that a minion? Minion, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's very cool. How much is it? Four dollars? Hmm, I'll get it for four dollars. All right, that wasn't terrible at the Goodwill. The hat saved our day because I think those Ed Hardys go for like 20 bucks. And then the minion camera actually goes for like 29 to 30 dollars so that's not bad that's kind of saved the day and then i got myself some camo socks so i can't see my feet 
to the next one. I'm giving away in the Goodwill. Look at all these cars. Look at all these cars coming in here. It's a good. It's yeah, it's only two. <laughs> it's a good day of Goodwilling though because it's nice and rainy. There were supposed to be some big yard sales, but big cancellation. It's 50 bucks. Super expensive. But look at this thing, Brunswick, huh? With the bowling ball inside. Cinderella shoe? Yeah. 100%. Call her up. Call her up. Tell we got her shoe. It's a big shoe. I bet you this shoe's worth some money. What do we got here? Alright, saddlebags up. What is this? That's a lot of work getting that down for nothing. Old muffler bun. What is this? Little gar. 20 bucks for a Garmin? Ugh, what y'all doing to me? Yeah, but check this out. Caught him slipping. $5.99 for the Nikon Cool Picks. What is that thing? Oh, Rainforest Cafe. You ever been there? I have. This, is, this one's good. This is a uh, decent. Oh, how to tie knots. Bunt line, can you tie these? Reef knot? No. No? Not a sailor? What's this thing? What's that? What is this? This is weird looking. That is weird looking. What is that? What are you working with here? It's a lamp. It goes like this. Oh. Where's the... It goes like this. Oh, I'm looking at it backwards. <laughs> oh, that... Is that Dolly Parton? It's... Could be Dolly Parton. Come here, look at the... Ah, oh, it's missing the button. Money. You think? Yeah, they only want $2 for it. What do you think this is? That is a vacuum. That's the smallest vacuum ever. You think it sucks? <laughs> hey, smart plugs. They're not in here. No? It's empty. I can, yeah. One's missing. It? it is a massager. I thought it was a. That's that Weber stuff that we talked about. I actually picked it up and put it back because I thought it was a heat. The yeah, that's a massager. That's almost that's one of them weird massages. You know what I'm weird, saying? Weird one. Mm, weird ones. How much is it? Three yeah, bucks? We don't care. Yeah, weird, weird ones. Oh, look at this close up. That's brand new. The old Salvation Army. Number three. I understand that. But what are they? Dogs. Yeah, I get their dogs. What are you doing with it? Is it a uh, decal? Teletrend. Wait a second, are they all? Did you look them up? No. They have a name on them. Do they? Yes, but Teletrend Coes, Ohio. What the hell they got here? Oh, that looks like a Malamore right there. And, yeah. Hound. Look at the Rottweiler. Nice, good looking dog. So these are vintage pieces. This one's from 1990 Airwaves. All right, so I thought these were just too cool to leave behind. I did pay a lot of money for them, paid like $2. Actually, some of them are, there's multiple ones in each one, so it's it's not like I paid $2 per item. It's probably more like a dollar per item because there are some that have multiple ones, but there are names on them. Like this one is Airwix Incorporated. It's kind of hard to see, but there it is right there. And it looks like that these would be prints that you put on shirts. This isn't like an iron-on though. There's no, it is like on the fabric, and this is a heavy fabric. It's almost like 
that this was in a book and you would flip through the book tell the person you know oh okay i want the basset hound and this is what it looks like on fabric and it's really cool they're from the 90s but you have a whole bunch you got the basset hound we'll just flip through them real quick you got that little furry guy he's a he's a very uh, cute dog chesapeake bay retriever really good looking i think there's four of them in there you got the cocker spaniel you got the regular basset hound you got the black chow the collie look at that i mean these are really cool we got the greyhound yorkshire terrier and they, again they all are from the same company tell train uh cocker spaniel again great pyrenees it looks like i'm look the rottweiler very cool blue tick hound actually it's a blue tick coon hound yep uh boxer and again these are just prints this looks like a black shepherd or a black malamar and i can tell by his eyes uh, i don't know it might be a black shepherd uh, another Rottweiler. I have no. Oh, there it is, right there. Toy Fox Terrier, Spring Springer Spaniel, German Short Hair, and then a Black Lab. So definitely really cool. Again, these aren't iron-ons. They're just like printed on the fabric. And I think they would have been in a book where you would probably, you know, be there getting a shirt made or something like that. But I'm going to try to sell them as just like prints. And uh, I think that they're really, really cool. And I couldn't leave them behind. So that was an array of different things today. We have bowling balls. Kayla's favorite, number one. Then we had the really cool prints. I might be completely wrong on those exactly what they are. I just thought they were too cool to leave behind for like a dollar to a dollar fifty piece. I might never sell one. But... I really like dogs and I mean I had a Rottweiler before so the Rottweiler one's cool. I just thought they were really really cool, really cool graphics. They're in awesome condition, no stains on them like a heavy fabric. I could be wrong if you know what they are. Tell me down below and uh, just a, a couple hats. It was just one of those days when you're in the thrift store, a lot of people were out there, a lot of competition. You kind of got to grab what you can to make some money to make the day uh, work out well for you. So well, I think we did pretty good. The camera was good. Massager was good. Uh, a lot of that stuff it has really good sell-through rates. I get a, that question a lot about the sell-through rate. Basically what I do is how to gauge how long it's going to take to actually sell the item on eBay. I look at the, uh, the active items. And say there's a hundred active and then I go to sold and there's one sold, that's going to take a while to actually sell. If there's a hundred active and a hundred sold, that's a pretty good sell through rate. If there's a hundred active and 400 sold, that's a really, really good sell. And that is what determines me picking up an item and leaving items behind. Like the bows, had to leave that behind. I just didn't think I was going to, you know, make the money on that one. But I do appreciate everybody that watches. We believe if everything goes as planned, Kayla's and I's first whatnot is going to be on March 16th. So like, I don't know, a couple days when y'all see this video, go over there to whatnot. Our handle on whatnot is Bearded Thrift Machine. And we're going to have an array of items, hopefully like 50 to 60 items. And we've never done a whatnot auction. It's gonna be our first one. So bear with us on it. We're gonna do the best that we can. But if you want to come out there and join in, you don't have to bid on anything. It'd just be cool to get a whole bunch of people in the chat because as you know we've never really even gone live before like i've been on live on other people's channels but we've never gone live by ourselves on our own channels and stuff like that so it should be a good time check us out on whatnot and again that's gonna be march 16th it should be a couple days when you're watching this video i do appreciate everybody watching remember if you're not subscribed subscribe comment down below like the video and you know i will always get you on the next one and i got a new friend <laughs>